Hello and welcome back to Song Reaction Analysis with your girl, JV. Baby, how are you guys doing today? First and foremost, thank you so much for being here on my channel, checking out my reactions, as well as my own music in the description below. You're gonna find all the links needed. Man top and hello, dear Alipers. How are you doing? It is time for another Alip reaction. There will be a collaboration coming next week i promise and you know who you are you requested it and it's coming however today i wanted to do goosebumps which i haven't done yet it's uh, the theme song from like a tv show in the 90s that had like spooky stories and it was like the theme for it so um it's a pretty cool song so i cannot wait to see what alip is doing with that i also would love for you to before we get started to check out the links in the description there is a form that i would love for you to fill out and let me know what you think about this channel how i can improve this channel what you would like to see more of less of give me your feedback and in exchange i will give you a custom reaction high priority so just like once you fill it out there's going to be like give me a link to the reaction you would love for me to see um, and I will make that happen for you. Yes, so with no further ado, and if you haven't yet, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, the like button, notification bell so you never miss a post of mine. As you already know, I love being here and doing reactions for you guys and I would love for this channel to keep on growing and for us to connect more. So let's get it going. Goosebumps by Ali Bata. We love Ali. Yes. And I can't wait what he's going to do with this. This is going to be interesting. All right. Oh, yeah. does the song so much justice of course i listened to the song before the reaction the original to make sure that i know what he's doing you know to, to can relate it to something and he's so accurate with it and i love that he always puts his own spin on it but what was that little thing he just did that was like crazy good hold on somewhere around here <laughs> longer <laughs> you know what i'm saying this is like 
not long enough. And I know it's a, the theme song is not that long, but I feel like I want to hear it again. Ah, this is so good. This song is so fun, actually. So it's a really like kind of spooky like song, but I feel he made it like really uplifting and fun, kind of like, you know, like some of those Halloween songs that are just like really um, kind of like have humor to it and they're like actually fun so that was so much fun watching him and he always makes everything look so effortless it's like blowing my mind ah, what did you guys think of the cover and it's oh, he's so accurate i love he is he stayed true to the song we talk about this all the time right how he just like manages to stay true to the song and yet do something slightly that is like so Ali Bata. He puts his own mark on it without really changing the song. You know what I mean? And I appreciate that. I appreciate when someone takes a song and just like he does his own interpretation without really, you know, infringing on or, or, or like trying to change it completely, you know. Um, and there's a time and place for that as well. But I just really love his... Uh, interpretation of it really really beautiful and it, he made it fun and I love how he's always like his face is so straight faced it's like yeah this is just like a walk in the park you know what I mean but I feel like this could be a song a good song to like try to practice because when I was watching him I'm like hmm, this could be a good song to practice your guitar playing so maybe I'm gonna try it um I had like long nails and like half of them fell off already. So maybe this is um, the universe saying, yo, pick up the guitar. Um, Alip makes me want to play guitar all the time. Um, but then I get like really discouraged because he's so good. It's like, how long is it going to take me to get that good, you know? Um, but I don't need to get that good. I just want to get a little bit better than I am right now. So maybe I will. How do you guys feel about this version his playing we don't have to talk about it we already know he's the guitar finger star god so we love 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 him and i also love his originals a lot i just love his style and i also like that he's been doing a bit more electric guitar stuff so i've done a lot of ali bata reactions and i have to like make sure that i haven't gone through them but in the comments below let me know what is one of your favorites or list me like two or three of your all-time favorite ali batas um uh, covers and why let me know why you may not know why but at least let me know what they are okay and then also list me one of us your your personal favorite of his originals so let's give, give me a few suggestions on and i want to know what resonates really with you because i'm really interested in that um so with that said i'm gonna let you go there was a quick one but it's a short song and there's i mean we talked about everything about Alip's abilities. We don't have to go over that. And this song is just like, I love also that he doesn't overcomplicate it because he could in reality, he could be like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to complicate it because I can. It's like when a singer over sings because they can, right? They're just really good. So Alip could easily say, you know, I'm just going to noodle around and like just because he can, but he didn't because he's serving the song. And that is the sign of a very confident, very um, disciplined and authentic artist, I would say, because by that I mean he is confident enough to know that I don't need to overplay because the song doesn't need it, you know, and he just knows who he is and he knows what he can do and when and when not to play. You know, I feel um, when I had my band Otto's Daughter and I, we would have sometimes we'd like change band members and like guitarists would come in and audition. And so many times guitar players get so uncomfortable when there is a part where they don't have to play. They're like, oh my God, what am I supposed to do here? You know, I'm like, just chill out, <laughs> you know, just like strike a pose. I don't know, just like, just you don't have to play there. And so they always want to overplay. They always want to just like fill in all the space. And it's like, no, there is a whole band. Everybody has their place, you know, everybody has their, their moment where they like really go for it. Like the singer goes for it, then the drums go for it. You know what I mean? But like with everybody's all the time, super busy, it just clogs clogs up the song and makes it very not musical it makes it just like super busy and also our brain can't like process all these sounds and melodies and i used to be so guilty of that 
using too many melodies because I had so, all these melodies in my head. And when I would record, I would just like p put them all in there, you know. <laughs> and looking back now, I'm like, man, those are all good ideas. But maybe there were three songs in one song, you know, just like less is more always. And he is the master of that. He's really, really good at knowing what is tasteful and what is called for and what it does not need to be there. And in recording, I always say, when in doubt, leave it out. <laughs> it's, it's better to have less than more. And, you know, sometimes more is fun um, when it's supposed to, when, it, when it's called for. If you do industrial, like, you know, chaotic metal, whatever, that could be really fun, like a nine inch nails thing. You know, it's like, wow, it just keeps on building and keeps going crazy and more chaotic. That makes sense. But like in a song where it's not doesn't need to be there you know so it's just it's really sometimes being disciplined and that's what discipline comes in um it's super important and he he's got that he's got all of them so down he's a really really amazing artist he knows himself he knows when and when not to do certain things and he's just keeps getting better and better and he's been already like the, from the minute i saw him he was awesome so i just love that and i love seeing his passion for music and his what i also always admire about alib is like he has so many followers and he has still kept so humble like he does he could have a fancy background and whatever you know but that he's not about that and I love that he sticks to his authentic self who he is and I think there's proof of that right because why people love him so much because of that the only thing that he is really showing off and not even like in a in a cocky way or in an arrogant way he's just like showing us sharing his talent with us it's a very organic a very natural but in a very humble way and that's just so beautiful to see anyway with that said i'm gonna let you go and i will see you in the next one and as always i'm going to leave you with something uplifting and positive make every day a great day and remember this like less is more sometimes we feel and i do it too you know like i feel like i need to always entertain when when there's people around me or or you know i have to like start a conversation of their silence you know and sometimes just like just don't worry about that just let things unfold let things be you know give other people a chance to just be quiet you know it's just like we 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 have some somebody along the way taught us that we have to be a certain way at all times you always have to be on you know and sometimes we don't feel on sometimes we feel like we want to be quiet sometimes we feel like we want to be chatty sometimes we have things to share and to talk about sometimes we don't want to talk and that's totally fine and i think we need to normalize that more you know um so with that said think about that and as always i always say like ah, spend some time meditate go within and recharge replenish your own energy because when you are not full of love full of light full of energy how can you give how can you give to others so make sure that you replenish yourself first it's like on the plane when they say you know in case of an emergency when the mask comes down you put it on you first and then you put it on the other person right or someone that needs your help. So it's the same thing in life in general. It goes with love, with care. You know, we have to take care of our own health first before we can take care of somebody else. We have to take care, love ourselves first before we can love somebody else. We have to respect ourselves first before we can receive res respect from other people and give respect to other people. So it's, it's, a, it's a circle of life. It's a circle of, of, of an evolving ongoing ever never ending never ending energy energetic cycle that we're in and that we just like you know have to become more in rhythm with nature than being out of out of sync with everything and just like becoming this um, person that is really more outside of ourselves than inside of ourselves i didn't even mean to say that much anyways <laughs> Have a fantastic, amazing day. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit the like, subscribe button, notification bell so you'll never miss a post of mine. And I see so many people of you coming back, but you're not subscribing. So just hit that freaking subscribe button already, okay? And if you really want to, hit me up on Patreon and we can be friends over there for as little as a dollar a month. We can hang out, get to know each other better and also totally free if you want to sign up and uh, fill in the form and let me know give me some feedback about this channel what you would, would like to see more of and you will get a reaction in return that's a pretty freaking good 
deal. Anyway, much, much love, Alibers. I will see you in the next one. Take care.